Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add context sensitive menus uh, anywhere in your application using the bottom context menu. So here I have a very simple application that's supposed to list fruits, but you can see that I have a hamburger mixed in here with my fruit. So what I want to do is add a right click menu where I can select an item and remove it from the list. So in order for us to use the bottom context menu, we first need to install it. So let's go into our uh, console here and install uh, the Vaughn context menu version 1 or later and I'm also going to install the polymer paper elements so that we can use those for the actual menu. So let's uh, go ahead and do that and with those installed we can go back into our code here and import everything that we need so we're gonna import the Vaughn context menu we're gonna import paper menu and paper item and the way this works is that we're going to surround our list here with a bottom context menu. So what we'll do is just do a bottom context menu. And for the menu, we can specify a selector. So basically, what element do we want to trigger the context menu? So in our case, we want list items to trigger the context menu. We're going to move the closing tag to the other side of the list here. Now that we have the list surrounded by the context menu, we need to define a template, which is what will get shown on the secondary click or long press. So we'll do a template. And in here, we're going to do a paper menu. So we're just going to use the plain uh, paper menu that Polymer ships with. Uh, we don't want a multi-select menu and we'll only have one item here for removing like that. Let's clean up the code here a little bit to make it easier to read like that. Okay, let's save that and go to our browser and see that we have something here. Okay, so we can see that we have uh, a right-click menu now. Obviously, it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't hooked it up uh, to any method for removing an item. So uh, to do that, we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, uh, we want to keep track of the target. So basically, what list item got right-clicked so that we know to remove the right one. So we're going to just save the target here. And then we're going to define a method that will get called when the item gets selected. So we're going to define on tap equal to uh, remove, which is the method that we're going to call whenever we want to remove an item. So remove uh, will be a plain function. And that will get the event in as a parameter. There are a couple of things that we need to do, or a few steps, so let's do these one step at a time. First, uh, we're going to get the actual menu item from the paper menu, and that we can get from the events target. Uh, the second kind of step in this is that we want to get the list item that uh, was behind that. So. that we can get from the menu items uh, list item property. And here uh, I actually typoed this was supposed to be list item, of course, so that it matches this. OK, so now that we have the list item, we can go ahead and splice out that uh, one item that we don't want. So we'll use uh, the Polymer syntax here, this dot splice. We're going to splice the fruits array at the list items index. And this index is uh, what we bound right here. And finally, we're going to give it a parameter of one. So one item we want to remove. I'll refresh this, and now we should be able to right click the hamburger and have it removed from our list of fruits. So there you have it. That's uh, how you can use a bottom context menu to add context sensitive 
uh, extra options for your users.